Haley Plotkin of Austin, Texas is the travel vlogger behind Ready, Set, Jet, Set. After years of plane travel, she stayed in-state this year to show a new side of her hometown and the best places to rove in Texas. Haley, you have been living locally this past year, exploring a big state, Texas, but we'll talk about the adventures that you've had and the places you've found, the hidden gems in your state. I've been trying to go all over and use this time to really explore the state since I didn't really ever have that much time to do it before as a travel blogger. So I've been going to lots of state parks. I'm based in Austin, so I kind of started more in like the Texas Hill Country, and then I've been branching out more. Like I recently went out to Big Bend out west. Um, I've got a trip planned for May to go up north to Palo Duro Canyon State, really the second biggest canyon in the US, so I'm excited to do that. And I've been doing lots of like glamping stays because I think during the pandemic, that's kind of like one of the best ways you can travel since it's really private. Um, so it's been fun. Well, it's been incredible. And these videos have taken off as people want to discover in these spots. What are some of your favorite moments? Um, one of the first places I stayed was this cool spot here in Austin. That's just like a real architectural wonderland. Um, it was probably the first video in this series that went you know, viral, if you can call a few million on TikTok viral. But um, it's just this really weird building. It's hard to describe, but it's all like swirly white architecture and stuff. So that wasn't really glamping, but that one was really cool. And it was nice because it was in my own city. And then like when I went out west, I stayed in at like a bubble hotel under the stars. So that was really cool. You know, you can look straight up and see the whole Milky Way. And I've stayed in things like yurts out in the Texas Hill Country and, and other fun glamping spots, retro trailers. Um, there's lots of cool stuff around if you really look. And how do you think this pandemic has encouraged people? Obviously, we're, it's been staying home, you people going on flights to kind of rediscover their neighborhoods and their uh, places within drive. Before, a lot of people didn't ever think to travel locally because it's like, why Why would I look in my own backyard when I can fly to the Caribbean or I can fly to Europe? But now they've been forced to kind of rethink that and go like, where can I go in driving distance and do more research and find things they maybe didn't look into before, like state parks. I never really looked at state parks at all before the pandemic. I had been to like one in Texas and now I'm all about them. You know, you can get a state park pass for your state and go explore all of them. You'd be surprised. Some of the state parks are like at national park level. 